Hey guys, welcome back. Um, welcome back to another video. I wanted to make a make a short video on this topic. Um, recently, I saw a, a video by this guy called uh, a YouTube video called um, um, the, by this guy called the Chinese historian. It's sort of like a, a, I think Chinese Canadian guy. He's pretty popular on YouTube, although. I think it's no, it's still not a huge channel, but it's quite interesting. Um, he talks about uh, some some aspects of dating, uh, especially um, Asian people. And uh, one of the videos um, he mentioned was about um, dating in the you know um, Passport Bros uh, have destroyed Asian men, which was. Uh, it's quite interesting, but I don't really agree with. Um, and actually, on the contrary, I think Passport Bros is pro the movement is probably the best thing ever happened to Asian people, the Asian man actually, because look at it. Or the Passport Bro, um, <clears throat> the non-black Passport Bros done previously, right? It's just exactly the same thing. You know, you had. Um, uh, I mean, you could see my old video about. Um, the whole movement started, you know, 50, 100 years ago. He talks about, um, one thing he did talk about, you know, he said he's struggling there in Canada, and you know, he's not getting dates. I think he's in his, his 30s. It's uh, quite ter terrible, horrific situation for an Asian man like him. And, you know, kind of reminded me as well, as like kind of my old days, uh, my early 20s. I wasn't getting any dates. I was uh, like hopeless. So I was just like, it was just ridiculously difficult. And uh, only hope was uh, pretty much an Eastern European woman that, at that time. But um, some guy mentioned in the, his comments about, um, you know, actually this this sort of thing isn't really true. Um, if you look at uh, the one guy, he, he mentioned he lives in Thailand. He said, you know in terms of in thailand um the asian men are like actually uh, the pro the the top probably one of the upper you know upper um rank la, rank the uh, rated people japanese koreans especially uh but um you know if a if a thai thai woman they they, they tend to um prioritize over you know they tend to actually prefer Asian men, right? Um, there are a lot of, there are also a lot of um, Thai women that do date farans, like what they call as uh, white people farans. Um, so there's a portion of that for sure. But it's um, if you ask, you know, ten Thai girls, you know, uh, who do who they would date, I would say probably eight people would say I would probably date the Thai men or other Asian men. So why is it that, um, you know, especially if you if you look at Chinese women, right? Uh, Chinese American women, they 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 pretty much. I mean, it's not exaggeration to say they betray the other Chinese men when it comes to dating, and they only go for white guys. Most of them, I don't even see many Chinese women with black guys, right? Um, so why is that? Why is it that they betray? Um, they're all men, but you know the the Chinese, um, the Thai Chinese woman are actually preferring to date um, Thai Chinese men. So by Thai Chinese, I mean it can be quite blurry because there's a lot of interracial mixing between Chinese and local Thais, so they become more like Thai, um, you know. So you can just say maybe this they have a long ancestry maybe based in china maybe hundreds of years ago um, but a lot of the the if you if you think about it a lot of the girls uh when you go to clubs in um Donglo or you know uh ikamai the these these girls these chai these they 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 they, they prefer thai, they prefer to date asians more than Especially, they prefer the the Thai Chinese other Thai, Thai, Thai Chinese men, right? Over over um, foreigners. This is kind of like um, 
type of Thai, Thai girls that do like like foreigners like uh, violence but um, there's a large huge patrol majority I would say a majority of Thai women they, they are dating Asian men they prefer Asian men so in expat circle maybe it's a bit different but I'm just talking about general population right um, so why is it that they don't betray their own species right they don't they don't they don't they don't do that right whereas the Chinese Americans are doing that uh, to betray their men right reason it come down to several but you know you can say it's hypergamy you know I don't think that's the case actually you know, I think it's really about the culture right in American culture or in the Anglo Anglo-Saxon culture you know, um, they are ashamed of um, it's not that they've been pushed to date white men. You know, they can date Arabs and date black people and date Indians. How many Chinese women are dating Arabs? I have never ever seen one Chinese girl date an Arab. Never. And I'll make this, um, make a video about it, why is that is the case. Um, but you never see. Right? And they the they they're not only not dating Asian guys. They're not dating any other races either, um, except white men. So it's really down to culture. Um, thing is, in places like Thailand, you know, they are they are extremely proud of their their culture and they have kept that the manners them as well. Like if you think, look at it um, this way, like and people are extremely polite and people are. Um, People are like people like the way they do things, um, and they appreciate each other. Just in the West, what has been like now is like you know everybody just take advantage of people, right? This is a wider cultural issue, um, right? Like if you if you don't you know if you don't say like for example voice of concern or speak up, you're taken advantage of. Um, this is a bit off topic, but it's about um, it's about people are proud of their culture. They're proud of um, the way of doing things, the polite way of doing things, and that is naturally you're gonna want to be with your people, right? Because your people understand the the your people understands you know for example the traditional Asian values or respecting others um, um, some of the Buddhist philosophies for example if you treat others with respect you, you get you also get respect um, do no harm you know um, I'm not Buddhist um, lecturer here but uh, you, know, you know what I mean um, people in the, look, in, look, look look and that is the the kind of values that people value right so naturally they want to be with their own people in places like America or in UK you don't see that kind of thing you don't see that um, and you feel like you don't you feel like you know you you are um, you are, if maybe you can say that I'm not sure if this is the case but maybe you can say that the other reason why is that you know, the people feel maybe a bit out of place um, so then they, they need to fit in with um, white people I don't know um, yeah so let me know what you guys think this is um, really interesting to me because I've rare, never ever seen anybody a Thai Chinese woman disrespecting Thai Chinese men. I have never ever seen it. Ever. In my whole life. Right. But I have seen that. Chinese American woman. I am not sure. You know, like. That something's gone around. I mean, I do see like a lot of Asian Chinese women. Uh, sorry, Asian American women. Do only date Asians. But it seems like it's kind of like in those. You know. Uh big Asian population cities like Los Angeles or you know California and it's not really across the board you know. 